I can do it. I will do it. It'll be done. Good morning, happy people. Happy Thursday. We're like right here. I'm excited. Are you excited? Nothing happened this morning. Bentley was a little sass. He pooped on the carpet. I don't know what his deal is. He knows where to go. I know it's a shot. Like he hasn't done. Um, fail. He hasn't done anything like that in a while. I don't know. I don't know why. It looked like he was on the couch in his bed because I saw a tiny little hitchhiker and then on the floor so I don't know if he was like up there and he was like oh crap I have to go and he didn't make it to his box but I just have to remember he's still a baby he's eight months old I didn't know where to go I mean I we all crapped and pooed and peed on ourselves until we were probably like one and a half or two so if you think about it he's like way ahead I guess accidents happen and they say that puppies go through a phase called the puppy stupids where it's like after their adolescence like testing for power phase but they go through like a puppy stupid phase where they just do dumb stuff that they know they shouldn't do because they just like are going through some weird phase. I let it go, picked it up, sprayed the carpet because I'm afraid of germs. I'm not like a complete germaphobe on a scale of 1 to 10 of germaphobeness. I'm about a six and a half, but still like, I don't want like trace amounts of poop on my floor because I sit on the floor, I lay on the floor. So I cleaned it up. And I need this light to turn green and stay green. Because we have to go. We're running a little late this morning. Not so late that we'll be like late, but I don't know what it is. I just can't wake up in the morning. And when you have a cute sleepy puppy bear that wants to cuddle and not wake up either, it makes it so hard. But today's going to be the best day ever. I did not get to what I wanted to get to yesterday. I had a goal to knock out like a certain number of projects, I guess. And that number, I did not reach it. I came very close to it, but I didn't reach it. So today is redemption day. Yay. I just have to keep telling myself, I can do it. I will do it. It'll be done. I can do it. I will do it. It will be done. One, two, three. I, I can do it. I will do it. It will be done. I hope it works. I'm going to just space out on the highway and keep affirming how awesome I could be. And you guys are all awesome too. I bet you, if you just affirm good things, good things will happen. And I'm wearing blue eyeshadow today. I don't know why. I don't know why I got so bold and I was like, I'm going to wear blue. But I felt like doing something a little different. Hello, wear blue eyeshadow. Hi! I'm playing. I'm teaching Bentley how to attack and kill. 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 Kill the lion. Kill it. Attack. Attack. Rup. Drop it. Drop. Drop it. Good boy. You're so smart. Go get it. Bring it! That's like literally all I'm doing right now. I got home late, so I'm overcompensating by playing with him. Like, a lot. And if you go to Starbucks, you gotta get some of this lemon good good. Brandisha made it for me, hey. What else? Oh, hi. I guess I'll talk about it. I really feel uncomfortable talking about it. Let's go in my room, shall we? Okay, so like disregard my face because I am not in frame. I just got home from work. I don't know, whenever I have the tripod on, I feel like I need lips. Y'all can't judge me for this. I don't know why I always worry about being judged. It's weird, like I don't care what people think of me, but I don't like being judged. Is that even, 
that was so unnecessary. <laughs> was Is that even the same thing? Okay, so I had a really bad habit. Like, really bad. Really, really, really bad. When I was in college, and I don't even know why. Maybe if I tell my story, not story, because I can, like, help someone not fall into the deep hole of oblivion. Too close. Let's just spit it out. I started smoking in college. Super bad. I don't even know why. Like, I don't know how it started. My first year of college was really, 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 really rough. Like, I didn't know anyone. I didn't have that many friends. I was like, meh. And the whole reason why I was like that, I did it to myself because I had a boyfriend and he went to a different school. Bentley! <laughs> Come, puppy! He's quiet. Bentley! Puppy back. Look what I got. I got a puppy bear. <gasps> Say hi to all your friends. <gasps> hi, guys. My name is Bentley. I just turned eight months. Yay! He was playing with this in the living room, but... Like, when he's quiet, it usually means he's up to no good. Okay, can I even talk with him in my lap? Oh, thank you, boys. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, so the reason why, I don't even know, I'm going to end up telling a half-hour story about a two-second topic. Oh, you dropped it. Okay, don't jump. Here, go. Bye. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have any friends because I went home every weekend, or I would go to my boyfriend's college, or he would come to mine, and I just kind of isolated myself because people were like, oh, you want to hang out this weekend? I'm like, no, I'm going home. No, I'm going to my boyfriend's school. And that, like, kind of put a damper because then people were like, well, we're not going to ask you to hang out because you say no every time. That's not the point of the story. The point of the story is I had a couple of friends, and they smoked, and I don't know how I picked up the habit. I guess it started like, oh, a little drink, a little smoke, and then I never bought my own, and then I started buying my own, and... Years later, I still have this really bad habit, and I've always known, ooh, heritage. I've always known that it's a bad, nasty habit, and that it can kill you, it probably will kill you, it kill people around you, and it costs so much money. Like, I mean, down here, cigarettes are like $5 a pack. Up, I know up north, when it, they're like $10 a pack, like, I don't even buy cigarettes when I go up north. I would always, like, bootleg them in my suitcase. My face is looking chunky. Anyways, can I get to the point of the story? The point is, is that I need to slow down. My mom's best friend, the best, one of her best friends in her whole life, died of lung cancer, and she smoked a lot. So I know every time I never smoke around my mom, I never smoke at work, I never smoke around adults. I don't know what it is. Like, I'm a secret smoker. Like, people are like, oh, you smoke? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, but you're so nice. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, how does that make me, like, not nice? But that is not the point. The point is, is that it's just bad and I'm getting older and I have to stop. I'm gonna wanna start a family. I'm gonna wanna be pregnant one day and you can't be pregnant and smoking. Cause number one, it's really bad for you. It's bad for your baby. Well, you guys know why you shouldn't smoke while you're pregnant. But like I've seen people smoke while they're pregnant, like marble reds and it just makes me sick. And I just don't wanna get to that point. I wanna like get healthy and I've noticed like I've been getting sick a lot lately, like I have sinus issues, I have bronchitis, I cough a lot, and I'm just like, I never remember because you smoke, and I'm like, whatever. But there is a correlation, and I guess I just didn't want to see it, and if I stop, I can turn that around. So, I don't know, like I was just not motivated to quit, like I just, I mean I have a reason to, I have a thousand reasons to, but I just didn't have like that kick in the butt to be like do it so miss brandisha she got introduced to and i'm not trying to encourage anything or promote tobacco use well not tobacco use nicotine use i'm just saying what i'm doing she had this thing she's like walking around blowing smoke and i'm like bruh i don't know why i call her bro i'm like what is that and she's like, oh, it's an e-cigarette, and you don't smoke, like, and I was like, okay, tell me more, and she let me try it, and I'm like, oh, okay, it's, like, fruity. So, after she had it around me for, like, a week, I was like, I'll try it. Like, I thought it was dumb, because, like, who wants a cigarette with a battery in it? Like, it dies. And also, like, the, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but, like, the liquid and the juice... Like, that weirded me out. So I did my own research, and then she took me to the vape shop. Like, yes, there are vapor shops. And I decided just to try it. I'm like, 
It's not gonna kill me. There's only three ingredients in e-cigarette juice. It has PV, and I'm gonna say wrong, it's something, whatever, I'll put a thing. <laughs> and VG, vegetable oil, and flavor. And sometimes distilled water, if it's too thick. So there's three ingredients in it. There are 3,000 ingredients in one cigarette. Carcinic ingredients, tar, nicotine, oh, did I say nicotine? There is nicotine in this. And let me go get a bottle of e-juice. This is gonna turn into a thing. There's three or four ingredients in it and you're actually just inhaling and making vapor clouds. It's just vapor, it's particles. It's not smoke, it doesn't linger, you don't stink. The only side effect I've noticed so far is a, uh, I don't have food, honey, is I've been coughing a lot. But that is because I have cut my cigarette smoking down to more than 50%. I'm probably smoking, I don't even want to say how many cigarettes I smoke a day, I'm embarrassed, I'm ashamed. I smoke like a pack a day sometimes, especially if I have a really, really bad, stressful day. And now I'm like, when did I even have the time to do all that? So in the last, I started doing this on Saturday, so I, I hope I stick to it. And that's why I'm kind of hesitant to like say something, but I just want to get it off my chest. I smoked four real cigarettes yesterday. And I think today I've only had three. There's just certain times of the day when I'm just still, and it's probably psychological because I have a very addictive personality. That is why I do not do legit drugs because I would be a strung out crackhead like selling my body and selling my mom's VCR for like crack on the corner on Craigslist because I get so addicted to everything. That's my problem. <laughs> so anyway, so I decided to go with this and this is how I'm doing it. You, from the vape shop or from, you can come online, there's like tons of stores, but I haven't really done my research on like what stores are really good. And I did join, there's an e-cigarette forum and there's so much information on there and I love it. Oh, I boogie. But I just, so far I'm just buying everything like local vape shops and there's actually a lot in Atlanta. And there's a couple I wanna try out and you buy and I haven't gotten all the lingo down right. I'm, I'm new, don't like kill me if you find this video and you're like a hardcore vapor because I'm not yet. You buy, all right, so I said it looks like this and I don't want to smoke on camera. I feel like we're doing it, but it's not smoking. So this is the battery. There is a coil in this part. I suck at that part. I don't know what it's called. And then you have your tank and you put your juice in the tank and then you just press the button it lights up and you and it disappears it doesn't linger around it's gone like if I blow in the camera it's not gonna stay for long see it disappears so that's what I'm doing right now I am vaping Sour Apple. It is 50% PG, 50% VG, and right now I'm on a 18, M 18 MG nicotine level. These little juicy things, and I have a couple of them because I didn't, you can try them in the store. That's what I like about actually, whoops. That's what I like about actually going to the store is that you can sit at the vape shop. It's almost like a bar and you can try different flavors. They just put a little plastic tip on the tanks. Mine, this one doesn't have a hole in it, but they have them with a hole in it, so you can just sit there and try it before you buy it. So each bottle, at least at the store that I bought them from, I think they're $6 and they're like, buy three, get one free, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have seven, I don't know how I hoarded that many. But they come in like different flavors. They have like fruits, desserts, coffee, tobacco flavored, cigarette flavored, so like if you smoke, I don't know, like a marble menthol, you can get a marble menthol e-juice. I tend to like the fruity ones. I really thought I'd like the dessert ones, but I didn't really like them that much. Like once I tried them out, it's like meh. But I have, and I've been like switching flavors a lot, so that's why they probably look really empty, but 
a little bottle of this will last a really long time. And then I dumped them all out and then I was like, when do you want to try new flavors? So then I realized I needed to get a bunch of these since I guess I'm a flavor switcher. I don't know what the term would be. I also have a fancy one. It has a little more power. And this battery that I have, I have two of these. I actually have three now because I went back there today. I'm just using a very beginner type setup called the Ego Twist. I just bought a pink, and I have two of these. I have a purple one and this one. I have a pink, baby pink, Vision Spinner 2 that's charging in the kitchen right now because I just bought it today. And that one, you can change the heat level. See, I suck at the technical terms, so don't like get all technical because I just started. But it has a little more power and it has a higher battery because I find I can blow through a battery in, no pun intended, I can go through a battery in a day. And I just wanted something that I didn't have to worry about. That's why everyone suggests that you buy two because the other time when Brandy was trying to quit, she came over and she's like, give me a cigarette. I think it's not charged. And I just don't want to be in that situation where I won't have my equipment or my, I don't know, my stuff and then I'll smoke a real cigarette. So I just want to set myself up for success and that's why I have backups of a backup. Because if you think about a pack of cigarettes, there's 20 cigarettes in it, so you have 20 backups. And if you're a smoker, you probably have a lighter in your purse, your car, your pocket, your bag, your kitchen, like you probably have a good job. So you have to think of it that same way. So just the money, I mean, yeah, I spent money on all this stuff, but I did get a kit, so it was kind of at a discount. Came with the case. They only have black, but I got. What is he doing? <laughs> He's scratching his leg, but he's hitting my foot. I, it came with the case. It came with the battery, a top, and I just keep everything in here. I'm kind of already growing out of this case, so I will probably. I actually ordered one from eBay. I got a pink one. And that's it. Oh, these are the flavors I have if anyone's interested in, and they're all, like I said, at 18 milligrams. The nicotine does come in different milligram levels. It goes from zero. Some people just like to vape just for the sake of vaping, so there's zero. Or some people have weaned themselves down off the different nicotine levels, but they still like to vape. It's a hobby, it's like a whole world out there of vaping. I had no idea like all this was going on, I didn't know about it. So that's kind of why I'm sharing it, because if you do have a smoking habit, you should think about quitting. I'm trying, maybe we can try together and be one big smoke-free family. So yeah, all mine are 18, but they come in zero, six, 12, 18, 24. I've heard about higher levels, but I don't think I need a higher level. I did lots of research and they matched me at the store and they're like, you could probably start at 18. And I plan to stay on 18 for a while. Probably till I finish all of this. And that's going to be a very long time because I see myself getting other flavors because I just like to get new stuff. But I need to save money. So hopefully over time and I, what I've read, if, when you rush it, you fail and you end up going smoking again if you just keep cutting your nicotine level too slow. Nicotine is harmful. It's a drug, but so is caffeine, so is alcohol. It's just the delivery system that I'm using now is a better way to get that fix. Yeah, that's the best way I could describe it. It's a better way. So I have Concord Grape, which I love, and all my e-juices are from Vape Zone. That's I've been to two stores, but I've only bought juice from one store. And it's my favorite, my second favorite is Pineapple Express, because it tastes like tropical, it tastes like Miami. And the rest, they're not faves, but I like them all. This one is called Wow. I can't really describe it. It's kind of like a minty, not minty, I don't, let me open it. Yeah, it kind of has like a minty, light taste. It kind of reminds me of a Newport Light. Yes, that's what it is. It's like a Newport Light. Ooh, they smell better. If you let them steep over time, and I mean it hasn't been that much time, but if you keep them in a dark place and give them a good shake, they taste better over time. And I just kind of keep them in this little stupid quick trip, quick trip cup, and I keep in the cupboard in the kitchen so it's not exposed to light. I have super fruit, which is just really fruity, tastes like candy. I have iced strawberry, which tastes like strawberry, but it kind of has like a, like a menth, not a menthol, but like an icy taste, like an ice gum. I was not recording for like 20 minutes. <sighs> ah, I don't even know where I left off. Yeah, I don't know what happened because I 
thought I wasn't recording, but I was the whole time. I think I was going through my juice stash. Um, Georgia peach. Because I live in Georgia and they made this from real peaches from Georgia. I, I don't know. It's just a flavor. But it's helping me. It's only been a couple of days, but I mean... I went from smoking 20 cigarettes a day now to four, and even when I smoke a real cigarette, I'm kind of like, I'd rather vape. Let's have a vape. Oh, this is the sour apple. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing to get off of my habit. It's not bad, it's just vapor. I'm not filling my lungs with carcinogens and tar and tobacco and making smoke and making stinkies I never smoke inside I always smoke outside but because it doesn't linger it's nothing it's vapor so it helps me so maybe it'll help someone else and my battery's gonna die my battery's gonna die so yeah if you have any questions maybe ask me I can find the answer once I get a little more acquainted with everything, I will make a legit video and keep you up to date on my success because I'm going to succeed. I believe it and I will. And I'm doing it. I'm doing it every day. Just sit here and vape. And I'm going to call it a night because I talked y'all's heads off. Bulbas. Bobby, you want to say goodnight to all your friends because the battery light is blinking? Um, bye guys. I like that my mommy doesn't want to smoke anymore and that she's just going to vape. The vape doesn't bother me. I smell it when she vapes and it smells good and I sniff it. When she smokes cigarettes, I, I, I sniffed it but I didn't like it. It was rude. He's licking my hair. Bobas, you want to give your friends the courses? Give them the courses or you will die. Give them the closest. Oh, you're such a sweet baby. So, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Oh, you need to get your nails did, hunty. He just, like, attacked me with his puppy talon. Oh, yeah, you need your nails cut. I'm gonna call it a night and go take care of what I have to take care of for the rest of the night. And we'll talk to you tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday and Bentley's so excited. He's so excited he's showing you his manhood. He hates me. Bye.